dash one. Um, this one's a difficult one because our, it's, it can, can be confusing. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, any time that you have a, um, any time that we're looking at simplifying, remember, as long as you have, uh, going back to your rules, of, your rules of radicals, whenever we have a term that's separated by multiplication, you can simply separate them. Like if I have the nth root of x times the nth root of y, that equals the nth root of x times y. So as long as terms are separated by multiplication, you can separate them into their own radical. So I can really separate this into square root of 25 times the square root of x plus 2 to the fourth power. Does everybody kind of agree with that or kind of see that? Yes? OK. Well, the square root of, five, square root of 25 is 5. That's kind of simple. This one's a little difficult. We didn't really spend too much time on this. But all I want you guys to understand is you, you can't break up the square root across addition. So you could do it across multiplication. You can't break this up into the square root of x and like the square root of 2 um, because this whole quantity is being raised to the fourth power. So what I would do is think about this as like this. Square root of x plus 2 squared squared. Because again, when we're trying to, the identity element is telling us, what is the square root of, of this squared? Right? So that's just going to leave us with x plus 2 squared. And that's your final answer. x? No. You cannot. The power rule of exponents, if you remember my rules of exponents, if you have x to the y to the m, the power rule states you can distribute the power. Yes? That does not ever, ever work when you have your terms separated by addition or subtraction. So. It's OK. I'm just going to make sure. I'm just reiterating this because it is a, such a common mistake. You can distribute a power across multiplication you can, or division. You cannot distribute a power across multiplication or subtraction. Or I'm sorry, addition or subtraction. This does not work ever. What do you do when it's x plus, x plus y to the m power? You'd multiply it by itself that many m times, right? Yes? If this was squared, you'd multiply it by itself, squared, and so forth? OK. Can we write down the like, squared and whatever number is? I mean, once you get your quiz, you can.